Are you looking to get a data pack in Minecraft 1.19? Well, it's actually very simple. And just bear in mind, this will work in any other version of Minecraft. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to download our data packs. So the website we're going to be using today is called vanilla 2 and I'll leave a link in the description. But you can basically use any other Minecraft modding website to download data packs. So in this example, I'm going to be downloading three data packs, which is going to be Fast Leaf Decay, Graves, and one of my favorites, Confetti Creepers. Once we've selected it, you want to click on the download button. Then you want to wait five seconds for the ad. Then you want to click on the skip button just in the top right. And once we've done this, you want to go ahead and save the data pack somewhere on your computer. So in this example, we're going to use our desktop. So once your data packs have downloaded, all you need to do is go ahead and open up the file. And you'll notice that your data packs will be inside of them. All you need to do is highlight them all and drag and drop them to the desktop. Close out of this menu and we'll go ahead and delete our package file. Now all three of our data packs are on desktop and we just need to go ahead and install them. So there are two main methods to installing data packs to Minecraft. The first method is to install them to a new save and the second method is to install them to an existing save and I'll show you their methods right now. So for the first method of using them on a new world, the first thing we need to do is open up Minecraft and you want to click on single player and create new world just as you normally would. Once you're in the options menu, you want to click on data packs and then you want to click on open pack folder. This is going to create a new temporary folder that's going to be used to load the data packs into your new world. So all we need to do now is to highlight all of our data packs and you just need to copy and paste them into his folder. Once they're in, you can close out of this folder and then they will be on the available list. We just need to move these all over to the selected list and then click on done. Now our data packs are preloaded for our world to be created. You just need to go through your options just as you normally would and then you want to click on create new world. So once you're in your new world, your data pack should be ready to use straight away. Now, if you are having problems to get them to work, we do need to use the reload command. Now, unfortunately, our cheats aren't enabled. So to enable them in a single player world, all we need to do is go to our options menu and click on open the LAN. Then click on allow cheats to on and select start LAN world. This will enable our cheats. So we just need to use the same reload command. And this will reload all of our world data, including the data packs we have enabled. So for method two, I'm going to show you how to use these data packs for an existing world. So to do this, you want to open your Minecraft game. Then you want to click on single player and select a world you want to use the data packs with. So I'm going to use the data pack example. Then you want to click on edit and then you want to click on open world folder. This is going to open the saves folder. And all we need to do now is go into the data packs file. And then you just want to copy and paste the data packs you want to use for this world. Once the data packs have been copied into the data packs folder, you want to exit out of this window and then click on save. You then want to go ahead and open the world just as you normally would. Once you've loaded into the game, you should be able to use your data packs right away. However, if they don't work, just like last time, we need to use the reload command. So to do this, we need to go to our menu, click on open to LAN and allow cheats, and then click on start LAN world. You then want to go ahead and use the reload command. And again, this will reload all of the data for that world, including the data packs. This may take from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes to do. And it's that simple. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.